Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. I'm Nick Santiago, and today is Thursday, May 12th, 2011. Lots to cover. Fireworks in the market yesterday. You saw what happened. When the dollar goes up, everything deflates. It's just that quickly, and that's why having a weak dollar policy is really uh, no good because when it, when it does start to move the other way, look how quickly it deflates everything around. Okay, let's start off with the futures. They're down about six and a half points, six and a quarter points at 1332.50. Um, we'll see where it trades. We do have jobless claims, uh, weekly initial jobless claim number coming out in uh, a few minutes. That could move the markets a little bit. But here's the most popular chart that you need to look at right here. Don't take your eyes off this one. This is all you need to see. In fact, I could almost trade these days right off of this chart alone. U.S. dollar index trading higher to 75 dollars and 59 cents at the moment dollar trades up the market trades down it's just that simple look at the move the dollar has had recently very very nice and that's all you need to see when the dollar makes a move higher everything else will inflate lower it's just that simple today gold is down silver is down oil is down over two points you have big big moves down before the opening bell Yesterday, every energy stock was just about clobbered. Today on, uh, in Washington, you're going to have uh, most of the uh, CEOs from the big oil companies such as ExxonMobil, Chevron, BP. They're all going to be speaking um, up on Capitol Hill, and uh, we'll see what happens here. They're going to try to take away the tax break that the oil companies are getting. So that's not a positive for oil stocks. However, the stock's down so much, they could be... You know, putting in a little near-term low, that's always possible, um, and do for a little bit of a bounce. But, again, you have big news going on in, in Washington, D.C. today. You'll see how much uh, the politicians are going to try to beat up on the CEOs from the big energy companies. Okay, last night uh, you did have Cisco report earnings. Okay, Cisco, bad reaction. Stock spiked right after earnings. Afterwards has been declining. Now trading down a little bit below 17 bucks. Again, there's just not a lot here for this stock right now. If you look at a daily chart, just nothing pretty there. I could erase all this, these lines here. But nothing pretty here. And now today you're going to gap down right around to this um, below the $17 level. So there's nothing great there on the, um, on the Cisco chart from what I could see at the moment. I would just leave it alone. Nothing to do there. If you're a, a scalp trader, that's great. If you're not. Just leave it alone. Cisco, there's nothing good going on at that at that place right now. Okay, uh, looks like the weekly initial jobless claims number is out. Looks like it is out at 8.30. Let's just see the reaction in the market. Markets off for, are falling a little bit. And we're now down about 8 points on the session. April retail sales is up 0.5%. So, 5 tenths of 1%. Jobless claims, 300, uh, 434,000. Weekly claims, that's a pretty high number, and the average is starting to go up. So again, uh, we're moving a little bit lower. We'll see how it uh, really affects, affects the market. It's all about the dollar, in my opinion. <clears throat> the dollar moves up. The market moves down. Dollar moves down. It doesn't matter what the, the economic report is. The market will move up. Okay, last night, I just want to real cover real quickly... Um, the Asian markets were clobbered. It looks like China reserve, uh, raised their reserve, uh, increased their reserve ratio requirement by um, 50 basis points. So that's a half a percent. And um, again, the Shanghai was just toppled last night, down 41 points. So that makes it almost, uh, I guess, around 1.35, 1.36%. The Nikkei was down 1.5%. The Hang Seng was down almost 1%. And you had Australia down 1.7%. Uh, the Sensex was down 1.34%. So you name it in Asia last night. Asia got hit hard. That means the FXE should come under pressure today. It's already been under pressure. But if you look at the FXE, that will come under pressure today. And down a little bit more today. But um, very, very ugly, ugly move last night in the Asian markets. So something to keep an eye on. When your Asian markets are down sharply, it usually puts pressure on stocks such as uh, Freeport McMoran, maybe Cleveland Cliffs. These stocks have taken a beating as of late. Okay, they do look a little bit, maybe they're getting a little bit overcooked, but uh, nonetheless, very, very ugly moves there. U.S. Steel could be also affected this morning by a strong, uh, by a weak uh, Chinese market and uh, weak Asia. 
Okay, that about wraps it up today. I'm trying to keep these uh, videos very, very brief so everybody knows what they're looking for going into the trading day. And um, all you day traders, I'll see you on the charts right around 9.30 in the morning. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care now, everybody.